To log into Scoreboard, I'll open a modern browser like Chrome, type in the URL for my organization, and select Enter. I'll then enter my username and password, select the server that I want to log into, and then select Login. Upon logging in, I am brought immediately to the home page of Scoreboard. On the far left, in black, is the Scoreboard Primary Navigation pane. This pane is separated into three main sections, Personal, Presentation, and Foundation. Each option within these sections, such as Scorecards, is activated via a single click. The pane can be collapsed and expanded using the arrows at the bottom. To the right of the primary navigation pane is the home pane. The width of the pane can be adjusted via the right edge. It can also be collapsed and expanded using the arrows at the bottom. The pane gives simple one-click access to my alerts, tasks, the KPIs I own, and the KPIs I update. Further to the right is the main area of the home page. It contains four sections, welcome message, new alerts, your responsibilities, and scoreboard support. The welcome message at the top is the system administrator's opportunity to provide an important message regarding the scoreboard system. It can include text, images, links, or embedded videos. Moving down the screen, the New Alerts section shows up to four alerts of recent activity that either I have subscribed to or that was pushed to me by the system administrator. If I want to see more than just the four that are visible on screen, I can get to them in two ways. By either selecting the Alerts link or by clicking Show All Alerts. To investigate any of the alerts, like total gross profit now being a score of zero for May, it's a simple click on the alert. This will take me to a detailed view of the KPI with its trend for the past year, where I can confirm that the score is indeed zero for the month of May. I can toggle between periods in the top right back to April and then forward again to May. If I select the KPIs tab up at the top left, I can get a report view of the KPI history. I can quickly scan and see that within every month for the past year, total gross profit has performed well. It is just May of 2019 that is in the red. I'll switch back to the Overview tab and notice that down at the bottom, if I wish to add a note, I can select Add Note. I can then type a message, select the period that I want the note added to, and then select Add Note. But in this case, I'll select Cancel since I've already commented on this issue. If I want to see that comment, I can click on it. I can see my initial comment up at the top and all the responses below that. At this point, I'll select Close. And as I alluded to earlier, I'll see that the note is only applicable for May. If I toggle back to April, the note has disappeared. If I toggle forward again to May, the note reappears. When I am done commenting and seeing all the details I want to see, to get back to the main screen, I'll select the Home link in the Primary Navigation pane. Moving to the right of New Alerts, the Your Responsibilities section contains a listing of the KPIs I update and own along with my tasks. To access the KPIs I own, I'll click on My KPIs. 
from here I can see the full list. If I want to see just the overperforming KPIs, I'll select green at the top. See just the middle performing, I'll select yellow. And the underperforming, I'll select red. To get back to the original list, I'll just click again. If I wish to see more details on any of the KPIs that are underperforming like total gross profit, it's a simple click on the KPI. And it will drill down to the more detailed view that I reviewed earlier. To get back to the main screen, I'll select Home. To see the KPIs I update, I'll select KPI Updates. I see that for May 2019, all of my KPIs have been updated. However, if I switch to June in the top right, I'll see the actual values are empty. If I was ready to update them, I could load entries for each, and then select Update KPIs in the bottom right. When I'm done updating my KPIs to get back to the main screen this time, I'll select Welcome in the top left. To see my tasks, I'll select that link. Just like before, I can filter to see just underperforming or overperforming items by selecting the tabs at the top. To drill down on an underperforming task like Build SEO Capability, I'll click on the name. I can see how this item is tracking in regard to schedule and budget. It is running about a month late and about 16% over budget. In the middle, I can review schedule and budget performance over time. Once I'm seeing all the details I want to see, I'll select Home to go back. The last area is the scoreboard support section. This provides the option to contact a support resource by selecting Contact Us, typing a message, and selecting Send. But in this case, I'll select Cancel. By default, the message will be sent to the the help desk at Spider Strategies, but the system administrator can customize that within settings.